how's it going all? Today's video is going to be a trade up video for the Scream Fortress 12 or XII if you're more into the Roman numeral variation, but this video I'll be doing four trade ups. But first things first, as stated in the previous videos, I am holding a small giveaway for viewers and this is what's going to be in the giveaway. It's going to have a few items that I unboxed, um, I've put away pretty much which ranges through qualities and strangers. And of course I added the unusual taunt into it. Um, the taunt is for Scout and Aesthetic Shock, which is a Halloween effect from this year. I think it goes very well with Kilowatt Unusual and actually pairs beautifully, which that effect I'll also try to display a combo with this taunt and Kilowatt Unusual on screen right now. But yeah, I already had a bat in a thousand unusual taunts, so I thought, hey, I don't really need two, so I'll just give one away. Um, the giveaway will be on scrap.tf and it is going to need a password to enter, which I'll say at some point during the video. So just pay attention during the video. Having a password at the same time just kind of eliminates the potentials for bots to join, which also gives the viewer better chances to win something. So moving on, these are the ingredients going into the trade-up. Two rows of non-strange and the other two being the same but in their respective strange variants. The first two rows are 10 minimal wear sweet tooth war paints, followed by 10 strange minimal wear variants of that same war paint. There's 10 assorted assassins grades from the Wicked Windfall collection, followed by 10 strange assassin grades from that same collection, which in total came to $53.20 AUD. And now I'll go through the possible outcomes of each of these trade-ups, starting with the first row. And this one consists mostly of minimal wear and can result in either a minimal wear pumpkin pied war paint, a minimal wear mummified mimic war paint, or a minimal wear hell driver war paint. So out of this first attempt, either getting the first two is pretty much a loss. So instead of getting stonks, we'll be left with bonks, which leaves the hell driver war paint being the one that I'm really hoping for. It's just such a nice war paint and props to the creators of this war paint as its color scheme and design works really well. Next, rather than doing the second row with the strange war paints, I'll actually do the third row as they're also non-strange, leaving the strange trade-offs for last. So this one will consist of 10 assassins grade resulting in a non-strange elite grade, which can either be the Balloonicorps, corpse, a Halloween version of the Balloonicorn, and an an All Hallows hat, which is pretty much the Crones Dome-like hat with a spider dangling from the tip and festive lights around it. Now the Balloon Corpse will be a loss in profits if I get this outcome, which leads the All Hallows hat to be the result I'm hoping for, as it's pretty much the most popular one, and it's almost a cool variant of the Crones Dome, which is one of my favorite Halloween hats in the game. The next trade-up will now be the first strange trade-up from the second row, and will consist of 10 of the same minimal wear strange commando grade war paints, which will result in either a strange minimal wear pumpkin fired war paint and strange minimal wear mummified mimic war paint or a strange minimal wear hell driver war paint so just like the first war paint trade up any result from the first two war paints will be a loss and complete and utter bonks leaving the strange minimal wear hell driver war paint being the ideal outcome and which will result in stonks if i do manage to get it and last but not least is the fourth row and the second strange trade up which is the assortment of strange assassins grades which will result in a strange elite grade these two outcomes are the same as the previous cosmetic trade up which is a strange balloon corpse elite grade companion and a strange all hallows hat elite grade even though both are strange elite grades the strange balloon corpse like its non-strange variant will be a loss in this trade up which of course leaves the very nice and snazzy looking strange all hallows hat being the preferred outcome and also the one that i really hope to get as well but with all that information out of the way let's start with the commando war paint ones so we'll start this first trade up and with these ones, I actually put a buy order of about 29 cents. This is AUD, not USD um, currency, uh, which this one pretty much cost me about $2.90 in all to pretty much um, gather all these ingredients up. So the one that we want out of this one, obviously as stated before, is the Hell Driver one, which that will probably be the most profit out of all the other ones. So I never really know what to write on these ones. Um, or just basically just put <laughs> Hell Driver. I'll just put Hell Driver. Um, basically what we want uh, as a result of this. So Hell Driver, please, uh, Gaben. Okay, Gaben, uh, let's mm, put a smiley face down here. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a little bit patronizing, but you know, we'll just give it a shot and yeah, we'll see what we get. So here we go. Ah, damn it. Okay, so the Mummified Mimic one, so that is, uh, unfortunately, bonks, that's not stonks there. Um, okay, so it actually changes colour depending on team you're on. So, it's just, yeah, teeth with eyes as like, sort of a mummified look. But yeah, and that is minimal wear. 
So yeah, on to the next one, I guess. We'll start with the next non-strange one, um, which will be the assassin grade one to, uh, it's elite grade, I believe. So these ones, I actually put a buy order. So everything I put a buy order for, and this one actually cost me $6.30, I believe. So I, each one of these put uh, 63 cents in AUD. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty much what we want out of this is the All Hallows hat or hatte. Um, so we won't put anything patronizing like the other one on and might succeed better. So um, uh, yeah, I'll just write this. Oh, oh no. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Um, for the love of Gaben. Uh, work. Yeah, work. Let's 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 go to work, Gaben. Let's 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 get this. Fingers crossed. Oh no, it's the balloon of corpse. Okay. Wow. Oh well. Um, that was probably a bit too abrasive. Uh, rather than patronizing the last one. So um, so with a balloon or corpse, you actually don't need to be wearing pyrovision to see it. Everyone can see it. Um, even those that don't have anything that activates pyrovision, which is a really cool, um, really cool effect. Quick intermission here. The password for the giveaway is sandwich, all lowercase, and good luck to all of you that enter. So yeah, uh, first two we failed. So I guess we go on to the third one here, uh, which is the first strange one, which is actually the one that I really want to work. So these ones, the strange commando minimal wares, I put a buy order. These, each of these cost $2.20 AUD. So it came out to $22 in all. Um, best way to make these profitable is to put buy orders um, for less what they're going for actually on the uh, listing orders on the market. So yeah, we'll actually put a little something just positive on this one. So um, yeah, I love, I love TF2. Let's let's just put that. Yeah, that that's just that's just straight out positive, you know. And we'll put a smiley face down there. And okay, click the stamp. So this is the one that I want. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hello there. Yeah! Holy dooly! It's good. Nice. Okay, so we actually got that one. That's fantastic. Like, it's such a good wall paint. To be honest, I, I actually, I actually think that this one is better than the elite grade one. It pairs so well with pretty much every weapon that you can select in here. Like every single one, it works well. It works so well for you know. It just, it just suits the weapon. Like it kind of. I kind of wish I did actually do a factory new trade up here, but minimal wear is more affordable one. And obviously with the flamethrowers, the degreaser and the flamethrower, they work the best with. You know what, actually, if they actually had released spells, it would have been a whole lot better because you could actually put maybe the green flame spell on the, um, on the degreaser or flamethrower. So it would have worked like perfectly. It would have been a perfect combo. You know, you'd probably get maybe either hot or say isotope in unusual and get these or even on just the regular ones you know it would have worked so well with green flame spells if they had released spells again this halloween i really wish that they actually would just release those spells but yeah otherwise um we actually succeeded that one so third one was pretty much the third one was the charm so we actually succeeded with that one that's the one that i really 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 wanted to work out so we'll move on to the last one here which is for the Strange Elite Grade. So this one we actually want the outcome of the All Hallows Hat or Hate, which however we however you want to pronounce it. So this one's actually put a buy order of $2.20 as well. So all in all, this costs about $22. And there is only two outcomes for this one. Same as the previous one, so I will just pretty much put the same as I did on the last trade up, seeing that one succeeded. Uh, you know what? You know, it's not gonna work now that I just messed that L up. So, oh no. I'll, I just have a feeling it's not gonna work now. Uh, yeah. Fingers crossed. Let's just go for it. Who cares? Okay. Strange hat, please. Oh no. 
<laughs> I had a feeling, you know, it just it just wasn't gonna work after failing that, you know? Wow. Okay. So I guess that is the result. All in all, I succeeded one out of four, so I failed the three. So I got two of these balloonicorns. So balloonicorps, sorry. So Truthfully, the Hell Driver Strange saved me there. I could have easily gotten shafted on any one of these trade-ups really, but thankfully the trade-up succeeded on the one that counted, and to be honest it's the one that I really, really wanted. All in all, the cost of the items purchased for the ingredients totals in $53.20 AUD, and as a result, after trading up, I was left with about $87.70 AUD. So an overall profit of $34.50 AUD, which is about $24.63 USD, give or take in relation to the current items market values, which are always subject to change over time. So in conclusion, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to comment and like to see future trade-ups on the channel more often. Letting me know is a great motivator and a great way to know what my subscribers want to see. And if you also attempted these trade-ups before or after watching the video, post a comment below of what you ended up getting as a result. I'm really interested in reading what trade-ups people attempted and whether you succeeded or failed. But with that being said, thanks for watching, subscribe for future content, and as always, have a good one. Peace.